Hey YouTube, Brent with Bees Cichlids. Um, so, <clears throat> I kind of had, well it wasn't a tragedy, but um, I definitely was kind of fearful for this fish. Uh, this is my Vieja mix that I got at Best Fish in Milwaukee. Um, just a gorgeous fish from the start, very colorful. Um, Notice that she was kind of pressed up against the intake of one of my filters in my grow out tank and she looked kind of beat up. So I'm like, oh man, I, I better get her out of there right away. So um, I was actually able to catch her with my hand, which is kind of unheard of for me, but um, put her in a bag and then <clears throat> brought her to my 100 gallon stock tank to kind of acclimate. Well, had her in there and I heard some thumping around and jumping around and she was like knocking herself against the tank. It's like, man. So I thought maybe it was the sound of the pump like making a kind of vibrating noise that was driving her nuts. So I was like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So that was kind of like my second option. I mean, I've already gotten fish today. Um, which are live bears, uh, what is it again? It's a uh, uh, Lima, Peru, something or other. And uh, just um, can't put them in there because she is a cichlid and they're totally different and she would just rip them a new one. So um, don't really have any other tanks set up right now. Don't feel like setting up any tanks. And so I was like, not only that, but it would take me some time and she'd continue to knock herself about. So I'm like, well, Jersey's got a huge head. So I doubt that he'll be able to get anywhere where she can get to. I can put a couple of these pipes in here. She can hide if she needs to. Um, come to find out, she's actually able to hide under that wave maker and behind those pots. And she does quite all right. So um, this has only been about five or 10 minutes, but um, she automatically perked up once I put her in there, put a few sprinkles of salt in there, hoping that that would kind of help with her slime coat. And uh, I don't know, Jersey kind of took notice at first. He was, um, I don't know, kind of interested, and then he was kind of pissed off that she was in his territory, and then so he kind of chased her a little bit, and then he said to heck with it, and then he chased her and said to heck with it, and um, she got in spaces that he couldn't get to, and so, <clears throat> I don't know, he kind of gave up, and then he went underneath, went behind this Y pipe and s sort of pouted a little bit, and uh, then she kind of came around and she was kind of shaking her stuff at him and and he kind of took notice and she, you know, I think she just kind of wanted to get him to get out again. So, uh, I don't know, with any luck, maybe these guys will be a mating pair. And um, even if they're not, at least I'll be able to get her to heal up in here, I'm hoping. Um, I'm gonna keep a very close eye out um, check on her again in the morning. Um, there should be a plenty of hiding spaces um, that she can get away to that he can't get to her. Um, but not exactly sure what this pacing up and down is, but I think she's much more content now. At least I hope she is. I do not want anything to happen to this one because she's already grown quite a bit and we've kind of grown attached to her. Um, Jersey, not really caring right now. I like to say he's going with the flow. There's a wave maker he's swimming against. Um, yeah, so hope you guys like and uh, let me know what you think. Um, I'm thinking she's going to be okay. All right, peace out.